This is a phenomenal place. If you haven't been there, please come out here to Woodlawn and just get a, an idea of the wonderful things in the preserve. This is part of the Albany Pine Barrens and it has all of the same kinds of things that the Pine Barren in Gilderland does, except for the Blue Corner. We have tremendous hills of sand, wonderful sand dune vegetation that you can't see anywhere else. There is wetlands that you can see, there are swamps that you don't want to go into, and there's a gorgeous pond complete with the beaver hut. Each month we're gonna go and we're gonna see some changes. Now, do you think we're going to find a fox? No. Yeah, no, no what no. might we find, raising hands, what might we find that would be evidence of a fox? So we're going to be looking for evidence of their tracks and their scat. Yeah, I know. Every animal's poop looks different. What else might we find, Sierra? We might see evidence of a white-tailed deer. What else might we see, Colton? Leaves. We're going to find leaves. Here we go. We can take our science lessons and then come right out here. We're learning about sinking and floating. We can see uh, gravity in action as the trees are losing their leaves. We can see buoyancy out in the, um, on the pond. So it's really nice for the kids to see real life stuff happening right in front of them. All right, how we doing? Good. All right. What do you think these are? Oh, oh, what's these? Seeds. Now, know, when, when these grow, fall off, they'll grow. They'll how do grow. you think they travel from one place to the other? Wind. Ready, blow. <laughs> Let's find some more, okay? As a class, we come out here once a month, and uh, we have a nature journal, and we like to see how things are changing month by month by month. And then, like I said, we're incorporating uh, the different units. So our next um, science unit after seeking and floating is animal habitats. And so it's just diversity here. Uh, we never really get to see the deer, but we find tracks. We find their scat. We find evidence of them. And, uh, and it's just a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to bring the kids out here. I learned the most about coming out and seeing all the different animal tracks. We found deer tracks and stuff. We found some dead animals and scat and stuff, frogs, cool plants, different color plants, rainbow plants. I'm going to draw a picture of what I saw and write down some comments. As you know, in the elementary buildings, we are all striving to have cross-curriculum emphasizing literacy, uh, reading and learning uh, about how to write as well. So a lot of these um, situations are really intertwined with writing exercises, reading going online, in, including technology, uh, so that students it's, are getting a lot of exposure to literacy, to reading and to writing. It is so unusual in an urban community to find this kind of environment. Uh, most of the times kids have to get in the bus and uh, go off far to do this. We have our, our learning community here. We have a learning classroom here in this area. They get to see animals that they may only see on TV or on the internet. They get to get a sense of wonderment of nature. We use this facility all year round, so they're seeing it not only uh, in, in right now in fall where we're getting a different kind of environment, but we use it in winter. We use it in spring and also at the end of the school year. We're very, very lucky. 